What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Uh, just want to mention if you missed yesterday's JDC episode, please do go check that one out. That is our next to last one in this season. Uh, we are going to come back obviously very, very soon with some more hopefully improvements and some more ideas and I'm really excited about that. But uh, we do want to take this opportunity to kind of look back at that, see what we can do to make it better. Uh, and I just want to uh, open this up to you guys. If you all have any suggestions at all, please feel free to share those. Uh, you can do so just down below in the comments. Uh, you can comment on that video, or of course you can do that in our Discord. So please do uh, watch that, check it out, see if you've got some recommendations. I know we've already had a couple come in, so we're going to consider everything for that. Uh, but that's a series that I really want to do well, and so I, I really want to make sure that we take the time to make that something awesome. Uh, and thank you as always for the support on that. I think you guys, it's steadily been increasing, which is phenomenal and exactly what we're hoping for. So thank you guys so much. But Today, we're playing some jank. That's the goal. We're gonna do some silly stuff. This is all about Luca comboing. Uh, now, Luca kind of got neutered a little bit when it uh, came to the previous, not the one that happened this week, but the previous ban and uh, restricted announcement where Agent of Treachery was banned because the idea was if you could get an Agent of Treachery, pretty early in the game, generally speaking, you could win like very, very quickly. <laughs> um, and I still think you can, uh, and therefore we're gonna try this out. So this is, the idea is to take a bunch of little tokens, uh, use one of them for the minus two on Luka and get a end raise forerunners uh, out that you can then attack with everything for just a lot of damage. Now, is this gonna work consistently? Probably not, but we're gonna try it anyway. So uh, in terms of token generators, uh, we have four raise the alarm, Four Forbidden Friendship, each of those uh, in the two drop slot, both kind of uh, throwing out two little 1-1s one here. We've got Omen of the Sun, which gives us 1-1s. One -ones. We've got Tabalt that gives us 1-1s. One -ones. Now, it also shuts down life gain, which is really, really good in some matchups. Uh, Chandra Ac Acolyte of Flame, also really, really good, because uh, though you do have to sacrifice the two elementals for the zero, uh, it's actually okay, because again, you zero or you, you activate Chandra, and then you can play Luka, sacrifice one of those tokens, and then you're good to go. Uh, you can also pull back a lot of the uh, instants and sorceries in the two drop slot if you would like to. So there's some, some actually really good utility here. Uh, and then even just the zero, putting up a, uh, a loyalty counter on every red planeswalker, obviously we've got quite a few. <laughs> uh, and so Chandra really kind of an all-star in all categories here, which I really like. Uh, Elspeth, Sons and Nemesis also creates a couple 1-1s. One it also comes back repeatedly and can gain us some life. Uh, you can also buff up your creatures. There's a lot that you can do here uh, that makes this very, very good. Uh, Sarkon also does spit out tokens, so we do have that option, uh, but this is also, because we've got so many planeswalkers, this is kind of our backup wing condition, uh, where they all become creatures that can then attack in. So, uh, Sarkon really, really good in this deck as well as Luka. Now, surprisingly, Luka is not the only way that we can make this happen. We do have Transmography, uh, which does the exact same thing, essentially. You exile a creature, and then you reveal cards uh, until you reveal another creature card. Well, the only other creature card in our deck is the End Raise Forerunner. So, uh, we've actually got six ways in the main deck to do this, which is really, really sweet. Uh, we do have three of the Forerunners and absolutely no other way to cast it, so... <laughs> We do have to hope, uh, but Transmography actually really, really good in this deck uh, for doing that. Now, uh, as far as interactive spells here, really the only thing we have uh, is three Fire Prophecy, which is fine. This gives us a way to not only put back an Endraise Forerunners from our hand, which is really, really nice little uh, synergy there, but also gives us a really good way to deal with some early game creatures. Uh, it is at instant speed and only for two mana, so there's a lot of plus behind the Fire Prophecy that uh, I really, really like, and so we'll hopefully see that kind of help us out here. Uh, now, as far as lands go, we are just at 24. We've got six mountains, four planes, two castle in breath. Uh, this is great to be able to pump up the team. Obviously, the goal is to go wide here and then pump in with the Forerunners. This is going to help us pump up even more. Uh, Castle Ardenvale is a backup way to get some tokens, which is great. Uh, we've got four Sacred Foundry, 
uh, for Temple of Triumph, and then of course to Fabled Passage. So that's the deck. It's pretty straightforward. It's all in on this combo, and we're going to see if we can make it happen. Um, don't know if we will or not. I'll be honest. Uh, I did play test this one just a little bit, uh, and I did make it work <clears throat> um, once, but I still actually lost the game. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, that's uh, that's just because, you know, as good as this combo is, it does take a little bit of time to really get working. Um, and so hopefully, uh, the idea here is that like against creature decks, you've got a million creatures you're able to block with. So it's not really a huge deal to be able to block, but uh, against the wrong kind of deck, this is a beating. Um, Let's keep this, uh, we'll get to Scry here, um, and then we've of course got Tybalt into Elspeth, so it's actually not bad. Uh, I'm going to put that on the bottom though, we definitely at this point just immediately want to get to Transmography. Oh, oh goodness, we'll be in maintenance soon. Well, I hope that we make it before then. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I really do like the idea behind this deck, so I'm excited to see if this works. Sure. Uh, very, very good. Let's do this. Um... Hmm. Let's actually do this. Uh, and what do we want to put back here? Might just be this. Uh, as good as that is, um, we've got a nice three into four here. And so, also worth noting, we didn't actually have to do that on our turn. That was probably just a misplay, but that's fine. Sure. Very, very good. Um, we're just mitigating a little bit of damage here, that's all. Thankfully, to Bolt's little uh, one ones are really, really good um, in a lot of ways. So I'm I'm happy to get this down here. Let's go ahead and activate. Uh, if they do kill this in any way, we just get to kill the fervent champion, which is nice, uh, super, super nice. Um, so we'll see what they do. Um, thankfully, this is very resilient against these like mono red. Um, kind of decks. I think that it, in general it's quite pretty good. Now this is obviously a bit of a problem, but um, we'll see. Okay. Well, let's do this. We'll block the most damage, and then we'll still be able to obviously kill the Fervent Champion here. Get that out. Uh, we could have killed this, but I think actually the Fervent Champion is not a bad one to just go ahead and get off the uh, field here. Uh, let's go ahead and activate one more time get this down. I'm actually just going to Elspeth here. Uh, again, just giving us as much of a, uh, a wide board as possible is not only going to be resilient towards what they're doing, but uh, it also is exactly our game plan. So it's exactly what we need to be doing. That's very good, I will say. Um, but again, we can just kind of efficiently block a lot of things. So uh, we'll be able to spit out even more tokens next turn. Feeling not great, but like, okay, if that makes sense. Uh, let's do this. Put that on the bottom. Again, we're really digging for that transmography uh, as much as possible here. Let's go ahead and get a couple more 1-1s. One uh, and we can actually leave up either Castle Embreath or Omen of the Sun. So we've kind of got some options here, which I like. Um, this is just going to be a difficult wall for them to get through. Um, worth noting. They do have Castle Embreath, which is fine. Don't particularly care. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate mine here. Um, there we go. All right, now they do have their own. Um, so I'm actually going to be very cautious, and I'm going to block a little bit of everything. So this just means if they've got shocks or if they've got something like that, they'd have to really do a lot of damage to, to make this work. Now, yep, there we go. Uh, that's very good and going to make this difficult. That kills all of our stuff. That was a very aggressive block on my end, but um, yeah, yep, that's fine. All right. Uh, hmm. Unfortunately, we just are not drawing the card that we need. Um, if we did, we'd be in okay shape, I think. Uh, but we're just not getting there. Uh, let's see. We can do this. Uh, let's do... Let's see. What's in our graveyard? Fire Prophecy. It's not really going to help us yet. Um, let's just do this. 
Let's go ahead and get our value out of this. Uh, just because they do have haste here, so that's something. Uh, attack him for six. Uh, and we end the turn and we get to flash out the omen here, which is hopefully going to be helpful. Um, but chances are we've kind of lost, unfortunately. They just have, uh, we're not, we're getting a lot of land, <laughs> which is very unfortunate. But it is what it is. Yep, very good. The fact that that has trample is so annoying. Um... Do we even survive is my thing. Uh, so what, it's six each time? So we'll block with one, though it probably won't matter. I think that keeps us out of shock territory, um, which I think is relevant. But oh my goodness, we just keep drawing lands. What in the world? Um, I mean, there's not much we can do. We just keep drawing lands. Uh, we should have scried here, I suppose. That could have been a bit of a mistake, but I think we've, we've just lost at this point. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and concede. There's not much we can do. We can spit out a couple 1-1s, one and that's about it. Um, and they don't even last till the next turn. So unfortunately, we had all the tokens in the world for a little while, and we were holding them off, but that Torbrand, man. Uh, and really, it wasn't even Torbrand as much as it was the, uh, the Embercleaf, obviously. Invercleave is just, oh, so good. So, so good. Um, all right, let's jump into game two. Uh, just want to mention also, uh, I know I've already mentioned the JDC, but uh, the theme for this coming week, uh, again, the last week for at least um, probably until August. Ooh, do we keep this? Ah, sure. We've got 24 land. Let's try it. Um, the, the theme for this ex uh, upcoming episode is artifacts versus enchantments. Uh, it is historic legal. So anything that is available in arena is available for us, uh, in this, in this build. So feel free to, uh, to get creative. Um, we looked at alternate win cons. Kind of unfair that artifacts has one while, uh, well, enchantments has four. <laughs> <laughs> How is that fair? Um, no, but I'm excited. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun time. I think we're going to um, kind of try out a couple different decks this time too, which I'm really excited about. Uh, so this, sh this should be a fun one. Uh, I think it's going to be a really fun one. Uh, do leave your deck suggestions in Discord if you would. That would be very, very helpful to have it all in one place. Uh, we've also got giveaways going on in Discord right now. Um, oh, We drew all lands last time. We're not going to draw any this time. Um, we do have a giveaway bot now that is installed on our Discord, and we're going to be giving away just random things from time to time, just to be nice. Um, that's a great group of individuals who have, like, put in time and effort to build our community and be a part of that, and so we wanted to reward that as best we could. Um, and so we're doing that in the best way we know how. Wow. Okay, well, I thought we would be okay. I was clearly incorrect. Um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> I want this deck to work once. That's all I'm hoping for. Um, I, I want to get the Forerunners out once by using the Transmography or Luka combo, but the reality is we just don't have any lands, and now we have to discard stuff. We'll, disc we'll discard a Forerunners because we can get it back into our deck with Fire Prophecy, but that's it. Um, and so it's really not going to be helpful. And we're against Simic Ramp, so I'm assuming an Ugin is going to pop out sometime. Uh, which is just going to go so well. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Wow, this is terrible, guys. This is absolutely terrible. Uh, we discard to Bolt, I think. Um, that probably makes the most sense. I can't believe we are stuck this badly on lands. That sucks. We're just being unlucky a little bit, I will say. Uh, flooding out on, t on the first game, and then, of course, just mana screwed on this one. But... 24 lands, you'd think we'd find one in the top, like, four or however many we've gotten. And they are ramping hard. Oh, look. That's helpful now. Um, let's just drop this down. Uh, Omen of the Sun would actually be really nice, but chances are they just have a counter here. Yeah. This is going well. Yeah, dude. Not gonna attack. I could have actually there, but it's not really worth it. Yep, here we go. <laughs> yeah. 
sure. Do it. Do do the thing. Yeah, dude. You got it. Fire prophecy. Not super helpful. Um, I mean, it kind of is, to be honest, but... Ugh. It's terrible. Let's kill this. Uh, we're going to put four runners back, obviously. Okay, we did get a land. That's actually great, but I think we've lost. <laughs> uh, next turn, they're going to get to ultimate Ugin, which is just so good. Um, actually, technically, we might be able to stop that from happening, but chances are this is not going to go well. Um, they also probably just have counter magic at some point here. They've drawn a few cards uh, extra thanks to Uro as well as, wow, as well as Hydroid Crisis now. So, we're not in great shape, um, as it stands. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I know we can flash this out, I don't really care. We're, we're doing this. Uh, we just lose. Who am I kidding? They get to shoot one down, and then we just die. All right. It is what it is. Let's jump into our last game here, guys. Uh, we're going to get this to work. We could have potentially gotten it to work that time, but it wasn't going to save us. Um, so we need we need, we need, need that perfect game where we either get just enough land or, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I do want to mention a huge thank you to everybody in the Discord. I, I said that, you know, we're doing giveaways and things like that there, and we are. Um, and those are... The, that's a great group of individuals is what I will say. We have got an amazing community. Um, I try and brag on them as much as I can because um, with the effort and time that they put into everything, uh, whether that be deck building or talking about new proxies or making custom cards, like there's a lot of cool stuff that happens in that channel uh, or in that server that is just really, I, I think, quite amazing. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to say that we've got a, a really, really cool community. Um, so if you'd like to be a part of that, it's open to anyone. Uh, you're more than welcome to join. We'd certainly love to have you. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's there for you. So feel free to join in. Um, all right, so we just have to be fast. Uh, and chances are we're going to be a little slow. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, let's get you down let's actually get this out um let's do this attack for four i'm wondering if they're gonna attack chandra and save us the damage uh which is kind of the hope um omen of the of the sun excuse me is gonna be the next play uh along with a temple of triumph most likely um and then we just kind of have to hope uh, Luca will be able to come down on turn five. Yes, save us the damage. Thank you. Um, Luca will be able to come down on turn five, which is really good. Um, cool. Let's get Temple down. This is the highest chance we've had of making this work. <laughs> uh, actually, no, I think, um, what we're worried about now is a counter, like, 100%. Um, let's attack in first see if they do anything they may just shock or do something like that um which is great because then we'll just omen uh leaving less room for a counter uh is the key but they're only going to take two here it's not like it's not like they're they're in <laughs> a dire situation by any means um and unfortunately the more tokens they kill now the easier it'll be for them to live pre or post luca excuse me all right uh, let's just try for an omen here. I don't think it's really going to matter all that much, but we'll just see. I think they'll counter. It's my guess. Yeah. Yep, yep. Makes sense. Uh, so Luca's going to be a bit not great, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, even if it sticks, it's going to be like, you know, we get a 7-7 seven, seven and a 3-3. Three, three. It's going to deal 10 damage to it, which is good, but it's not really going to do the most. Um... So let's just hope. They probably got another counter, otherwise I think they would have started to cycle things away there. Um, with that in mind, let's try for Tabolt first. Um, guessing we're going to just get countered. Oh no, okay. 
Oops. Let's go ahead and activate. I'm taking the long play here because we wouldn't have won anyway, and chances are we were going to get countered. So, like, I think that's the right thing to do. Um, we are going to have a hard time either way here. It's a very good card, actually. Um, just in general, that's a good card. All right. Let's see if we connect for two. Shock it. Nope. Bouncing it. Okay. Well, that's good to know because Luca would have not been quite as good. Um, it would have been fine. Like, we would have gotten the end race 400s down, but then they would have just bounced it. So, like, uh, we would not have had a good turn that time anyway. Uh, so I think that that was still correct. I think we just lose this turn, though, probably. Seven. Yeah, they can just kill us this turn. All right. Guys, we didn't do it. We tried. We tried real hard, but we didn't make it happen, unfortunately. Uh, but um, I do still think this would will be fun if we can make it happen. So we're going to try and make it happen still. Uh, we just have to get uh, the right deck that sucks enough against us <laughs> that we can make it happen. Uh, either way, this is just fun. Um, and so it's a silly deck. It's a jank deck. That's what we do. Uh, so I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are. Um, we'll probably take a little bit of a break between this video and the next one to let them get their maintenance stuff in because it's usually around 11 a.m. that they do that. Um, and so I just want to make sure that we have enough time and are not interrupted by that. Uh, so, uh, if this video comes out way earlier than the second part, just know that it is coming. Uh, it'll probably just be recorded a bit later, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon for part two of this, uh, very, very optimistic Luca combo deck. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.